Great. We're here with Steve Palawasik from Vermont Pub and Brewery. And we're here with Monse Almena from uh, Vermont Institute of Artists and Cheese. I think you bought out all the cheese in the state. So uh, since we have it all, what are we doing today? Thank you, Shaw. Uh, thank you for having us here. We have a small variety of uh, Vermont cheeses, only a small variety. So we have in the state over 100 different varieties of cheese. It's a lot, a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. So we try to classify in different families to try to understand better the different concepts of pairings and the main characteristics of each family. So first, uh, let's start with the um, fresh cheeses, uh, goat's milk cheeses, which will include both fresh cheeses as well as surface ripened cheese. Okay. And I decide to group all that together because all share in common acidity, uh, tanginess, citrus notes, um, uh, fresh lactic notes like uh, creme fraiche yeah. or yogurt. So I think it's very important the concept of this acidity when talking about pairing either with wine, with beer, just with food in general, because either you can um, complement this acidity or you can contrast this acidity. Correct. So it's a very important concept in pairing food. So um, we have a lot of cheese and it's difficult to make a selection, but one of my favorites is Lake Age from from Blue Lake. Blue Age. This is a, a great cheese. What You know, some people who don't get this cheese, if you can hold it up, there's like a little gray line in there. What yeah, is that? Uh, it's a, a layer of ashes. Yep. And, uh, you know, looks so gorgeous in white and uh, the whiteness of goat's milk cheeses. So you have this gorgeous contrast that really say, eat me. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we are going to have a little um, degustation and be very fast. I know it's TV, so we cannot enjoy forever. But do um, you want one? Oh, sure. Um, shows. And, and Steve, what will we pair this cheese with? What will we um, do? We've selected a number of great beers from Vermont breweries today, And there's a lot Sean. of good beers in Vermont. There are, certainly. They certainly are. Uh, the beer that we've selected today is a, uh, a Vermont pub and brewery beer. It's our Canadian cream style ale. Okay. Um, and it is very uh, nicely balanced, uh, a fruity ale, nicely balanced with hops and bitterness. And it helps to, um, I found that it helps to... Uh, uh, complement very well the citrusy note that right. I pick up at the end of this particular cheese. And, and it doesn't overpower this cheese, which is really nice no, when, you, when you have this No, it doesn't. This is pairing. one of the complementary. Uh, right. Actually, most of the ones that we've selected today are complementary. Um, uh, and with this particular one, a light cheese, a light beer. Right. Uh, and, and I think that's what, what, when you talk about pairing and you talk about complementing, that's what it's about, is this harmonious relationship between the two where you're taking characteristics from both and they work together, but one's not over dominating the other one. Absolutely. Okay, and yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about the next cheese. That we um, have. So the next family of cheeses is kind of like we call wash rind cheeses because our cheeses that during aging are washed with a brine solution that contains also bacteria that helps to develop these nice um, orange, uh, more yellowish uh, rind. Usually, People are more familiar with soft washed rind cheeses, right. but also there are semi-hard washed rind cheeses, which have a more like um, a mild profile. They are not like, kind of like the right. funky, uh, stinky cheeses that people think about when Yeah, not, not the shoe rind. cheeses, the no. brand new shoe cheeses. Correct. So in terms of the um, sharp cheeses in this family, um, I would like to mention my one of my favorite cheeses uh, all the year around, but only available at this time of year, uh, Winemer, which is oh. also washed with um, Lembic uh, raspberry beer. Um, so good. Beer. We love this cheese. We, we, we try to buy as much of this cheese at the restaurant as we can, mm -hmm. and somehow we just don't have any more. Yeah, it's difficult to find. Yeah. It's getting very popular. And then Paniolo, too, um, which is the um, Hawaiian word for um, cowboy. Yep. In, the you Hawaiian know, cowboy. Spanish. Yep. Cowboys, uh, so these two are very sharp and goes well with fruity um, beers that you know you can talk more about. But um, we're going to focus today in a wash rind cheese, more uh, kind of like mild with warm uh, flavors, like okay. buttery, not a really pungent wash rind cheeses. And it's a new cheese, well, no, not too new, but um, uh, Dorset from. Consider Farm and H uh, Jasper yeah. Hill. It's have this beautiful wrinkle no, I mean, um, it's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, texture. And Steve make a great selection um, for mm -hmm. this door. Sock it to us. What'd you pair it with? Uh, today we paired this with a, uh, a Bohemian Lager beer. Okay. Which is uh, uh, stylistically, it is a very mellow beer because it's had a chance to age. Okay. It's a good blend of the bitterness and the hoppiness to the maltiness. So uh, it's not too bitter, it's not too sweet. 
uh, and this particular pairing, if if you're going to try this uh, sometime, mm. uh, try to get a good lager beer. This particular cheese, to me, has a very creamy, soft, and buttery uh, beginning. It's very, very mellow. Yeah. There's almost no middle taste. Okay. And in the end, it comes on. It comes on very strong and okay. pungent. This particular beer. Uh, has enough of malty uh, bitterness balance that it is. M there's more going on at the beginning. This this beer fills a void okay. in the middle. Very unique. Yeah. And then and then the pungency and the strongness of the cheese in the end goes on top of the beer. So if you looked at it, the the beer starts on top. Fills in a void in the middle and then goes underneath. So there's a perfect balance all the way through for and this particular cheese. And that's great. I mean, synchronized. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like both of these things, they're, they're great products, but each one of them has a little lacking thing. And together, they help fill that they little do. void. Mm -hmm. they, they, work they really do. Sure. That's great. And, and what, what do we have one. here? Well, we have a lot of great cheeses, this, too. This seems from, like the hard cheese area. Yeah, it's kind of hard, semi-hard, you're yeah. right. So, of course, cheddars. We have a young cheddar from Shebun Farms, one year old, but with great uh, profile they already. They fantastic you know, cheese there. Smooth in the palate, but they still have the bite of, you know, start aging. And then we have... Um, of course, uh, Gouda, uh, Taylor Farm, yep. also John creamy. John Wright's and, cheese, really yes, creamy. very good. And then, of course, we have, you know, uh, um, kind of like Alpine style, Tarantes. The Tarantes, Lauren And the sheep uh, milk, uh, from Tom Major style Farms. from Vermont uh, yeah. and Shepherd. Um, and what do, we, what do we pair this with? We are going wise? to pair, we, with difficult a choice, you know, as always, but... Um, We've selected a uh, the Trout River um, Scotch Ale. Okay. Scotch Ale is characteristic of very low bitterness levels, right. more malty, sweet, and it complements the cheese very much while allowing the, the, the sharpness on the back end of the cheese not to overcome the sweetness of the beer. And it's a, it, this is a beautiful blend. Great. See, really I, I nice. think you've got like everybody's Saturday and Friday night planned out for the next month. Oh, yeah. This Bob's is great And now, now for the last part, the grand finale, the blue cheeses, the stinky yeah. shoe cheeses. Yes. Well, they're not so stinky. No, they are so unique. stinky. No, no. no. Oh. Uh, actually, they are very different. Even the kind of like look similar yes. and uh, you know you all know the Green Mountains blue cheese is from Don Boucher and yep. um, Jasper Hill blue and I'm very happy we are very happy and pleased <laughs> to uh, the first time in TV this new cheese is from Willow um, Smart uh, it's a cheese called Vaquero which means the same that Paniolo cowboy but okay. in the real Spanish war so that is so why this I is love like a blue this cowboy cheese. <laughs> yes, but it's a blend from uh, cows and uh, sheep milk. Wow. And uh, she, uh, you know, is inspired in a Spanish recipe. And it's, you know, very rustic uh, rind, very concentrating flavors because it's kind of dry. It's not yeah. that creamy uh, like the other varieties. And um, it's quite salty, but very meaty and beefy and... Um, unique flavor that you cannot find usually in blue cheese. Right, and, it, and that's that little bit of blending the milks too. Yes, correct. Good point. And, and what do we pair this with? Good job here. You know, we've we've tried to pair this uh, today with with two different beers. There's uh, this is to say that you don't always uh, have just one beer for one cheese. Correct. There are many many different ways to go. And what I consider the blue cheese to be is a big cheese. It is a big cheese. And I've selected... It's the big cheese. It is. It is. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot going on with that. Um, these two beers are also very big beers. They're okay. both from Vermont Pub and Brewery. Greg Noonan, our uh, brewer, uh, brewmaster and founder, developed this recipe. Uh, this is a cutting edge beer. It is a, uh, a wheat beer that is very, um, a very mellow beer that has been infused with chipotle uh, wow. jalapeno. Um, mm. Clary sage, sandalwood, American ginseng. There is there is a there is a match going on. It's a very big beer in terms of its flavor and all the, the complexities mm -hmm. that it right. has to offer. With the blue cheese, uh, this particular one, which is very tasty, uh, is a little bit salty. So the spiciness of this this right. particular ambergris um, helps to soften that saltiness, and it's still at the same time holds up to that big meaty nuttiness that comes in the end of this particular cheese. That's that's fantastic. And on the other hand, we have a, uh, a raspberry smoked stout. Ooh. That's just one example of, you can't just say one beer goes with no, one no. cheese. And, so. and I think from looking at this whole spread, you can really see that there's a lot of great cheeses out there in Vermont, and there's a lot of great beers, and people should go out there and really enjoy this all the time. Thank you very much for coming on you're the welcome. show. Thank you. Thank and you thank so you thank very you so much. much. Fantastic job, great. and thank you for bringing all this and all this great yeah. knowledge. To you're us. welcome. I need cheese.